last time, Charlie ran away to seek his fortune, but only found misfortune since he ended up at the perfect parking parlour. The whole village searched high and low, except Nico Pendle, who searched sideways. Now Charlie's back safe and sound with Lil at the bubble and bottle. But he's not the only one with problems. Now, just one last delicate touch. Done. Rosie, it's ready. Great, man. It's ready. Sounds like it. Uh, what is it then? No idea, but if we're lucky, it might be toasted treacle butties. Wow, yeah. Best thing your dad makes on that forge. Let's get them while they're hot. Go on, guess. Wow, that is one very, very big treacle sandwich. Eh? You've got me, Dad. Could be anything. It's... Ta-da! <laughs> a toboggan! No, silly. Not two boggets. A toboggan. Not just a toboggan. Look at this. Hand turn mahogany and paduac runners on a cross brace Sitka spruce flatbed with coir and sisal weed reins. It's a masterpiece. <laughs> it's a thing for sliding down hills on in the snow. <laughs> What's he say? He says, what snow? Good point, man. Dad, you started this in December. The snow's been gone for months. If I've told you once, I've told you a hundred times. If a thing's worth doing, it's, it's worth, worth doing, doing well. well. Hmm. Good morning, Ike. Hello, you two. I say, a sledge. Or more properly, a toboggan. Great, isn't it? Pity there's no snow. Indeed. Do you know I still remember my first pair of skis? Skis, man. You? I was a great skier as a lad. Varsity uphill, slalom champion. Anyway, I must... Aye, and so must I. Silas wants a waffle press for this time Thursday. A waffle press? What's he going to make with that? Waffly crunches? What a daft name. It's an innovative and exciting product. Once Ike has finished that waffle press, I shall start to manufacture a wonderful new snack full of flavour, fun and... Holes! Precisely. Clever, that. Charging extra for food with holes in it. And what will the customer put in the holes? Fingers. Treacle. They'll fill the waffles with treacle and I'll sell gallons. I'll be rich. We'll all be rich. So what I need from you, Lil, is a reasonable, make that very reasonable price for 20 square miles of parking to make into waffles. I'll let you know first thing tomorrow. Excellent. Well, if you'll excuse me. 20 square miles. I'll be able to buy another parking oven. That'll learn them. Hey, up, chapper. Have a ginger beer on the house. All right, go on. What's come over you? Mr Silas Mitten and me have just made a deal for... He looked pretty chuffed and all. I saw him going into Nellie Newchurch's place and... What? Oh, no. Here comes trouble. brass necked up -ishness. Ooh. Of course, I don't normally do mass production, but I'm sure I can make an exception in your case, Mr. Mitton. <laughs> and I shouldn't worry about matching her price, Abbotter. Splendid. Testing will be tomorrow at 11. Professor Baines Pilling will be the judge. Wonderful choice. A man of true refinement. And he doesn't charge either. <laughs> You're sure you know what we're looking for here? It's a question of the optimum balance of Rockwell scale durability with a sufficiently high modulus of elasticity to withstand the 500 pounds per square foot that the... If I can make 500 pounds per square foot, I'll be a very happy man. Now get on with it. Nice to see you here so bright and early, Mrs. Leyland. Likewise. And you could always do something with your hair later. Yours looks lovely. Oh, thank you. Did you knit it yourself? Uh, mm. First contestant, please. Mrs. Nellie Newchurch of the Perfect Parking Parlor. Aha! Uh -huh. Starting as I mean to finish, Mrs. Leyland. First. Oh, shut up and get on with it. Hardly any point in carrying on after this. With a quality product like mine, Mr. Mitton, your waffly crunches will sell like crumbs. Don't be so common. No, crumbs. Look, it's smashed to smithereens. Aye, but quality smithereens. <laughs> As if any of you knew what quality is. Come along, Lil. Where's yours? Ready and winning. Sorry, Nelly. Waiting. Have you any idea what this stuff weighs? Oh.
champion. Yes, it certainly seems to be very what plea. Told you so. I just hope the press can take the strain. Lil, step into my office and we'll sign the contract. Gentlemen, roll the presses. <laughs> Everything we... No, 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 no. Return it by all means. What do you mean, will I pay the postage? Mm-hmm. Goodbye. Oh, third complaint this morning. What on earth? Hello? Mittens, waffly crunches? How can I help? All right. I'm sorry to hear that. Now I'm not one to gossip. The very idea! But I heard from a fella who knows a man whose cousin knows a bloke... Do get on! Anyway... Oh, that waffle is being returned. Mm, no! Please, madam, I have this from a reliable source. Apparently, a lad in Lumbutts put his back out just trying to cut it up. I knew it! And the funny thing is, it's lost all its colour. Well, that is interesting. Thank you so much, Constable. And, um, you didn't hear this from me, all right? Here? What? You may as well load the wretched stuff up and dump it in the old warehouse. I was trying to make a new, fun food, not perforated paving slabs. Oh, that's lovely, that is. If someone hadn't been too mean to buy me a treacle thermometer, we wouldn't be in this pickle to start with. My dear Mrs Leland, I just had to tell you how sorry I was to hear of your little mishap. Now, madam, I... But look on the bright side. It may have been inedible as usual. Please, madam, I wish you'd... But it does make lovely carpet tiles. Carpet I think there's something you should see through this door, Mr Mitten. What? The outside. Really? And take business away from me. How dare you? Judging. I must caution you that behaviour likely to cause a breach of the peace will result in my taking the strongest measures imaginable. Uh, uh, as soon as I've done me rounds. Say about tea time. Tomorrow. Oh, Ecky Thump, it'll take us hours to get all that back. I suppose we'd best get started then. I say, splendid. Oh, aye, couldn't be better. A dry ski slope? How inventive. A sly dry scope? A slow dry ski? What's one of them, then? Artificial snow. I must get my skis. Artificial? Hey, we can use it as a slope for rosebuds. <laughs> My dear girl, it's my favourite pastime. What? Tobogganing? No, making money. Think of it, a ski resort right here. Lifts, a pound a ride, postcard sales, après ski lounges, tourists from as far away as, <laughs> as Todmorden. I'll be rich. We'll all be rich. And what's more, we'll have fun! Is there really no business like snow business? Is it all downhill from here? Has Silas really got nothing to lose? Find out in the next inseparably adherent episode of The Treacle People. We are the Treacle People, we see treacle.